Hello everyone. I welcome you all again to this channel Catalytic Guru. I hope the last two videos were good and you learned something out of it. Proceeding with the same momentum once again with one another important topic in chemical engineering which is catalytic reactions especially the solid catalyst ones and the thiele modulus thiele modulus is very important in reactor level uh, reactor level of calculation which is a key focus in chemical engineering domain so before going into all this we will just quickly look into a few things so let's say this is a chemical reactor let's say it's packed to bit reactor and it has catalyst particles in it so, so this is a reactor now with next to the reactor we are comparing the length scales here so the next smaller thing is we pick one of this catalyst over here and you see it is a catalyst pellet so this catalyst pellet is a material which has a very high surface area which means it has a lot of pores it has a lot of pores in this which means a single particle will have a lot of area in which the reaction could occur okay so this could be a uh, something like we call it, it's a pellet it could be a high uh, porous material like alumina or silica which is typically used in chemical reactions and further proceeding we have pores for example this is one single pore from this pellet and this is a pore and usually this pore is coated with the actual catalyst so for example when you for in a reaction at a giving b it's say it's silver on alumina for example this alumina is a high surface area material which is the pellet and the silver is the actual catalyst which is shown in the purple color proceeding further to the smallest thing which is the catalyst particle itself which is silver so these are the length scales so when modeling a catalytic reactor we are concerned about every stage of this we are concerned about the particle the catalyst particle actually how the reaction takes place which perhaps we will do another video and the pore on the pellet and finally the reactor we are concerned about everything now in this particular video when we are talking about something like thiele modulus thiele modulus is something that compares the mass transfer limitations with the reaction speed how fast a reaction takes place against how fast the mass or the molecules could move diffuse from one place to another so we are typically talking in this range for the class today in this video we are talking in this range. this is our uh, area of interest now let's say uh, we have a catalyst we will we'll pick up a single pore just to illustrate what really happens so we have this pore here this is a single pore we uh, it could be it, it's it could not be actually a cylindrical pore but we are assuming it somewhere close to cylindrical and these can be mathematically managed in some other way uh, while calculations you can always take approximations so we are that's not our concern now now we have this pore which on the inside is coated with the material or with the metal of our interest typically for reactions these metals are costly metals like gold silver copper which are costly so it's usually coated with the cost limit now uh, let's say the particle uh, the catalyst pore is here and the reactant comes this way with the concentration C we in this channel so far haven't covered anything in mathematics even in this video we are not going to get deeper into the mathematical side of the these things we are just going to understand how things so this is CA and uh, you, you call the CA surface, CAS. So CAS is the uh, concentration near the surface of the pellet. So pellet is again, I want you to understand this pore is a part of the huge pellet, which again is a part of the huge reactor. 
so uh, we we want this reactor to sit all over this region because these are costly metals so we want this reactant to sit all over this reactant react and then come back so this is what we expect to be doing so when you write a typical mass balance for such a problem like uh, when you write mass in minus mass out and here a reaction takes place so plus or minus reaction constraints is equal to accumulation so typical mass balance uh, you will get a differential equation as usual which will solve will give you the concentration profile we are not going to write any of those but what i want you to understand this mass in and mass out of the reactor is purely due to diffusion when we call diffusion diffusion happens due to concentration gradient so there is a concentration gradient along the pore that's where diffusion happens there is no convective mass transfer inside the pore it's purely due to diffusion and can be effectively defined by fix first law I'll, I'll just fix the law and reaction is can be uh, uh, defined by any kinetic model usually the power law kinetics or a LHHW kind of kinetics when you do that, you will get a differential equation. Solving that will give you a concentration profile inside the pore. We are not concerned at this point about how we are going to solve the equation or what kind of solution we get. We rather concentrate more on the physical aspects of this problem. So that's where a very important phenomenon in chemical engineering called the Thiele modulus comes in. Uh, so Thiele modulus. So Thiele modulus is typically lambda L which is equal to square root of K divided by D effective multiplied by L. So L is the length scale on which this whole process is happening. It, it depends really on the shape of the pore which we are considering. If we are considering the cylindrical pore only the surface uh, I mean the length of the pore will be the L. But if you are considering different geometries of pore, then L will change accordingly. This K is the mass transfer, uh, sorry, is the reaction rate, or it, it's the reaction rate constant. And this T effective is the effective diffusivity. So effective diffusivity is something which includes both uh, the actual diffusivity along with the abnormalities in the shape of the pore. If the pore is not perfectly cylindrical, it has some uh, disturbances, irregularities. So all this will be considered in the effective diffusivity. So as you can see, this is a ratio. Thiele modulus is a ratio. You can simply take out two cases when lambda L is high. You can simply compare with uh, what's really happening? Lambda L is low. What does lambda L is high mean from this ratio? K is very very high than D effective. Right? This is what it means. At a high Thiele modulus, the reaction is very faster compared to the diffusion. And when it comes to Thiele modulus low, it, uh, what it really means is K is very less compared to the D effective. Now, for this, we will again draw this cylindrical pore and let's say we have a very precious metal coated on the inside. So, let's say this is gold. The prices are whooping right now, right? So, let's say this is gold and this is very costly. Same way, this is also coated with gold. Fine. Now, I have defined Thiele modulus is very high which means the reaction happens very faster than the diffusion. So reactant comes here. It doesn't have enough time to diffuse in because reaction happens at a very fast rate. So the concentration profile drops like this. It doesn't even enter the pore because before the diffusion could happen, the reaction happens. It's a relative term. Relatively, uh, the reaction is much faster compared to the diffusion. On contrary, if you take this case, comparatively diffusion is very fast compared to the 
reaction so what happens the entire thing gets a flat profile which means it diffuses 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 but reaction doesn't happen on par with the reaction so which case is better for us as engineers here only this much has entered and lot of thing this metal got wasted whereas in this the whole metal got used these are just extreme cases got used so ultimately uh, uh, this is kind of theory modulus is infinity and this is theory modulus is zero which again are ideal cases imagination we have to find a condition to operate at a lower range of Thiele motors. That's what we are trying to improve. We want the, uh, the molecules to enter as much as possible inside this pore. Only then the metal inside, the metal coated inside the pore will get used up or else the metal will be wasted and the reaction will not be as fast as expected. Uh, so uh, we have even some, something defined called as the effectiveness factor effectiveness factor uh, which is uh, which we call as eta which will be tan hyperbolic lambda l divided by lambda l this definition again is restricted to a cylindrical pore and a first order reaction something like that it's it's not universal but most cases can be approximated to this definition which you will see on further study of this topic you will see that any definition of Thiele modulus uh, I mean effectiveness factor can be simplified into this definition so when you again have two cases for this one is high Thiele modulus and other is low Thiele modulus at high Thiele modulus when lambda L approaches uh, infinite value tan hyperbolic lambda L approaches 1 thing. so what happens is equal to 1 by lambda L now lambda L is approaching infinity so this approaches 0 whereas when you take a low Thiele modulus as lambda L approaches 0 since it's low tan hyperbolic lambda l approaches lambda l right so you will have a value where this is equal to lambda l by lambda l which will be approaching one not equal so low Thiele modulus gives a higher effectiveness factor and the high Thiele modulus gives a low effectiveness factor right so uh, even there i could draw one more graph which is kind of tells you uh, uh, the so let's say this is a pore. This is a normalized graph. CA by CA surface against X by L. L is the whole length of the pore, whereas the X is the actual region length. So if you draw at low Thiele modulus, it will be a flat profile. At high Thiele modulus, it will be a total drop. So it's low Thiele modulus and it's high Thiele modulus and our operating zones will typically be in this region so this is the actual pore and we wish that we operated somewhat low Thiele modulus Thiele modulus as low as possible this can be optimized using very many techniques but the goal is getting a lower Thiele modulus I hope I was clear with the concept of theory modulus, the concept of diffusion, not, not really into the diffusion, but again, the concept of Thiele modulus, how the reaction rate is related to the Thiele modulus, all those things, I think I've explained it as clearly as possible. But in case if you have a question, always feel free to post a comment or send an email to catalyticguru at gmail.com. For the next week, if you have any ideas to make some videos or if you have any difficulty in making a video, please let me know. Uh, I'm sorry, difficulty in any chemical engineering topic, please let me know. I will try to make a video and we'll discuss. Please like, share, subscribe and comment. 
meet you next week with another new video thank you